Hello coders and welcome to this special episode of Source Code Codes. Today Microsoft and BrowserStack announced a partnership which lets you test your website against Microsoft Edge for free. BrowserStack is this online service that enables you to test your website against various browsers and various platforms including mobile, independent of your own operating system. So you can test against Microsoft Edge from a Mac. What I'd like to show you is how you can use Browser Stack and Selenium to test a Node.js app on Edge in the cloud. So let's get started. The first thing you have to do is register with Browser Stack. You can do this uh, by going to this page, uh, click get started and you will be taken to this form. I already did this and I will show you my dashboard. You will get something like this. I've been playing around with some tests so I got some, um, some tests in here already. Um, one thing you will need in your test is your username and your access keys, your access key. Um, I'm not going to show you mine, but you will need them. One other thing I did, so let me switch to the Visual Studio Code. I installed the Selenium web driver uh, into my dev dependencies. And this one is used for the test. And you also need to install the browser stack local exe if you're running Windows. Um, there is one for all various platforms. Um, and this will enable browser stack to tunnel into your machine uh, and access the local running website. So let me start this, take a few seconds and there it is. So let's get back to Visual Studio Code and have a look at the test I've written. I've called it uh, Browser Stack JS, and the first thing I did was require the Selenium web driver. Without the web driver there isn't much to test. Then for the um, browser stack, you have to uh, add some capabilities. For example, the browser name. In this case, it's Edge. I'm using version 14. I'm running Windows 10. I specified the resolution. Uh, one thing I re ran into when creating this test was I didn't specify the capability that I was running local. So you have to add this um, this property, uh, otherwise it won't work. And you have to add your user and your key, which I showed the location of on that uh, on the dashboard thing. Now let me scroll down a bit. This is the test I built. First it creates a the, the driver. And then it's going to my local host and the port. And this is where my Node.js application is, uh, is running. It looks for an, uh, an element with the ID RSS input input. My, uh, my app is a podcast app and you, there's a, an input where you can add a feed, hit the button, and then the feed is loaded into the, uh, into the app. So I'm sending um, one of my favorite podcasts, uh, decodingblocks.net podcast. And it should load that. Then I have the driver to click the submit button. And then in this piece, it took me a while to figure this out. Um, because I'm doing an Ajax call, uh, the website has to wait for the response to come in. So, the wait function uh, just starts waiting until the element is located. I'm looking for an element by class name, feed item, uh, with a maximum of three seconds. 
if after three seconds the element isn't found, um, you get all kinds of errors, so the test will fail. Then after the three seconds, um, I'm going to find all elements with the glass, and then get the text on the first one and log it to the console. One thing you must do is um, hit call quit at the end, otherwise the driver will keep running and eventually time out. Now what I have to do to get the test running is start the application. And there it is. I can show you in my browser that it's actually running. This is the app. So let's go back to the dashboard because we'll need that in a second. So I got my website running. I got the browser stack local thing running. Now I have to run the test. So I'm just going to type note and then the name of the file. In the background, you can see it's starting to run already inside the browser. And this will take, take a few seconds. And this is the latest episode, which was uh, g g uh, taken from the, from the app. And the test is done. Now you can get all kinds of information. What I did, this was the local testing property I talked about. You can see everything that is happened inside the, uh, the test. Now, I'm not sure why it's doing the find element twice, but it's just that wait cycle. And then and there's the text and it's stopped. If anything goes wrong, you can also play what happened on the server. And this is, this is what's happening on browser stack. So this is not a my local machine. I'm running Windows, so it's, I can test on Edge locally. Um, but say I want, in this case I have Windows 10, but you can also test, uh, well not Edge, but you can test in IE on Windows 7 if you like, for example. So this is what's happening. It's running, it's that getting that address call, and as soon as it comes in, it's done. The test is done. And that's it. That's how easy it is to run a test. If you have any questions, leave them below in the comments. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my feed um, and give a like. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.